Okay, so the car's ready to be started, but the car sat for many years without being started. So I want to make sure it's pre-lubricated before I start, you know, turning it. So what I did, I didn't want to take out the distributor and run, uh, you know, oil pump through that because then you have to reset the distributor and everything like that. So I came out with this a uh, little trick with uh, PL50, which is penetrating lubricant, and it, it has really good film lubrication. So it will work really well for the engine startup. So I took one of the tips from the PL50, I shaved it down with the exacto knife to the straight little pipe, and then glue a little um, vacuum line tip on it. So this way, this goes into the little holes like that then online I got a coupling nut that is the same thread size as my oil filter thread and then I hooked up a couple reducers to it to fit on the other side of the hose so this will hook up to a oil filter then that will go uh, down to the can and once I press it down it will shoot the oil into the engine and because it is a penetrating lubricant it will put extra pressure and spread all the oil into right spots and the cans about 90 psi so that's almost exactly as much as it is on the startup of the cold car so that's it Let's hook it up. Okay, so my contraption's hooked up to the oil filter fitting. And uh, we drain the oil. If your car was empty on oil, please add some till it start dripping so you know it's on the, you know, on the level. So when you start putting PL50 in it, uh, it will, and it will fill up, it will, it will start dripping here. Okay, so now we're going to hook up this end to the can of PL50 and then watch the drain until it starts dripping again. Okay, you can hear it going in. Ah, it's speeding up. So you know now we went full cycle through all the passages. Just in case though, I'm gonna keep it a little longer. Okay, that should do it. Now let that drain, and then we're gonna put the regular oil in. Okay, so now we're gonna put like a third of the bottle of engine assembly loop in there because it's super sticky. And I don't know if the engine will fire because I don't know if the ECU is good or anything like that. So even if it slaps some oil around, this stuff is super sticky. So even if it drains, it leaves a nice film. So I don't have to worry about re-oiling it again. And then we're putting a coracle braking oil in it in case it does fire. Then that has a lot of all the good chemicals like zinc and other things that are really good for startup of the engine. And they have some extra detergents that will clean up all the gunk that could have accumulated over years in the engine. So you can kind of see how gooey it is and how sticky. You don't want to touch with your fingers, it takes forever to get it off. But the nice thing is uh, you can get it off with engine oil. So I'm putting about a third of it in the car third of the bottle that's what I had left new oil filter is on okay should do the trick and the rest is just oil okay so for final pre lubrication I'm gonna uh, spray some uh, PL15 inside of actually the cylinders okay so here it's how it's done Put feeding this tube into the spark plug hole. Okay, 
Okay, so the tubes in the spark plug hole hook up to PL50. Now I just squeeze it tight and blow it in. Okay, three seconds of it should be good. Engine test start number two.